Hi, I want to talk to you about if error. It's a new function in Excel 2007 that quite a few people are excited about. If you use VLOOKUPs or you just do a lot of basic math where your denominator is a zero and you end up with a lot of uh, error messages, you know, DIV um, or NAs, then you may want to take a look at this function. It's pretty easy to use. Let's see how it would look before using it and then I'll show you how it would look after. So I've got a pretty simple spreadsheet here. I've got customers, last year's sales, current year sales, and I want to calculate my variance. So I'm going to click in cell D2 and then I'm going to do uh, my parentheses equal C2 minus B2 and then because I want as a percentage I'm going to divide it by B2. So I get 100% uh, increase. And I'm going to copy that down. There's a lot of different ways to copy, but if you haven't seen this way, I think uh, you'll find it useful. In the bottom right-hand corner of D2 is what's called the fill hand, a little black square. Now, a lot of people click and drag down, and that works just fine. But because I actually have data in the column to the left of it, if I simply double click on that little fill handle, it will automatically fill all the way down until it um, until the adjacent cells are empty. So another way to do it if you haven't found that way on your own. And take a look, there's my D3 because I was dividing by zero last year sales. Okay. I have an error message. Now one by itself doesn't look that bad, but again if you're printing out or you're displaying your information and you have a whole series of error messages all over the place, it just doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. So let's see another way to do it. I'm going to click on my calculations here and clear them out. Okay. Now if you knew potentially that you were going to get error messages, you could have done the if error from the beginning. Or, in a simple case like this, you see the errors and you can go back in and just redo it. It just depends on, on your preference. I'm going to go up and click on the FX, the Insert Function button. And the Insert, sorry, the um, If Error is actually in the Logic category. If you didn't remember that, you could go to All and they are listed alphabetically. But I'm going to go to Logic and here's the If Error. It tells you down the bottom that the name of the function and then it's got two arguments, the value and value if error. And then it tries in English to explain what that actually means. So it's saying it returns value if error if the expression is an error in the value of the expression itself otherwise. So what's that really mean? I'm just going to click on OK and show you. I get the dialog box. There's my value, and it's the same calculation I did before. You can type it in or you can click with your mouse, whichever you prefer. C2 minus B2, close parentheses, divided by B1. And I get an answer of 1, 100%, which we saw before. So if there is no error, it will just automatically return the answer or the calculated value. But here's the second part, value if false, okay, if, sorry, value if error. If there is an error, what should Excel display instead? I'm going to put an empty set of quotation marks because Excel will display anything inside the quotation marks. It treats it as a literal. So what, it's, what I'm saying in effect is I want it to be blank. I don't want anything to be in there. I'm going to click on OK. And then I'm going to go and copy it down. And there you can see at D3, instead of having the DIV, it's nice and blank. So just a, a nice way to do it. It definitely cleans up your spreadsheet, as I said, particularly if you have a lot of error messages uh, all the way down. So definitely take a look at it if you've got Excel 2007. It's a nice feature.